What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at the Leisure 530W from Venkyo. The W standing for Wi-Fi, W standing for wireless. It's a native 1080p full HD projector with support for 4K. And I've been using this as my main source of TV for the past two weeks. And let me tell you, I'm super impressed with the 530W. The quality is just super, super awesome. They're some of the loudest speakers that I've heard as well, so I think they did an awesome job not only with this super cool, super modern looking design, but they did an awesome job at giving us a super crisp quality as well as some really loud speakers once again. Let's unbox it, check it out together, and I'm going to show you why I think if you're looking for a 1080p native projector, the 530W from Venkyo is the way to go. This is everything that comes in the box and they give you everything you could possibly want. Here's your AV cables if you want to connect an old school DVD player or something like that. The power cord is not proprietary. You can find these just about anywhere. HDMI cable and the remote control I actually like as well. They give you a very functional remote control. You can change everything on this remote control so you can mute the sound. Here's your track control. Here's your little directional pad as well. You can go back, access the menu, switch the source on the remote control for the projector itself as well. You can also use the electronic keystone to go ahead and, and have the projector automatically resize the image for you. Definitely comes in handy. And then here's your volume controls as well. So I do like this remote control. Here's your manuals if you ever want to read them. And they do give you a portable projector screen, a 100 inch portable projector screen. Put it on your wall, take it with you camping, whatever you want to do, they do provide it for you. As well as some cleaning supplies as well to go ahead and clean that lens and whatnot. But super, super awesome of Venkyo to include just about everything you need to get you going. And it's a good starter kit as well. This is mountable. You can go ahead and mount it on the ceiling if you want to as well with an optional mount. But the main attraction itself is the Vankyo 530W, and I do like the design. It's a very modern, very sleek looking design. What I like about the 530W, not only is the design and the super small footprint for native 1080p full-size projector, they really slimmed this down and they made it very portable. If you wanted to go and take it with you, you could. It's also a lot quieter. I'm going to show you some samples as well in just a second. But you have an IR receiver right on the front there, and you also have one on the back, so depending on how this is mounted, you'll always be able to use that remote control. Taking a look at the ports on the side, here's your USB, so you can put in a pen drive, or you can use this USB port to power up a Chromecast, which is exactly what I did. I used the Chromecast on one of the HDMI ports, powered it up with the USB, two HDMIs, here's your AV in, here's your headphone out, or you can use that 3.5 millimeter jack to connect to a pair of speakers. Trans flash as well, so no matter how you have media, you'll be able to play it on the 530W. And thanks to being wireless, which I'll talk about in just a second, you can go ahead and, and wirelessly send over some media. Some key specs again, native full-size 1080p projector that supports 4K, 2.4, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, definitely huge. 10,000 to 1 is the contrast ratio, and you can zoom up to 50%. The Vankyo 530W also has a huge benefit versus some other, some other projectors out there. Square footage is not my friend here in New York City. I don't have the luxury of having a lot of, a lot of space to work with. So with only three meters of space, I can project up to 100 inches for my TV, for my viewing experience, and that's definitely huge. That's a game changer. That's something a lot of other full-size projectors just can't do. The touch sensitive controls on the top, super, super awesome. And the stereo is definitely really loud. So there's a lot to like about the Vankyo 530W. I really like this projector. The quality is really good. Now, I just want to talk about the wireless functions of the 530W. And this is basically going to be the same for any projector out there. If you have an iOS device, the wireless function on the 530W works great on iOS devices. On Android, it's a little bit trickier, so I'm just going to recommend it if you have an iOS device. Again, if you have local content, if you want to do a, a slideshow, if you want to show photos, or even if you want to play games on a larger screen, just go ahead and do that screen mirror function and you're going to be fine on iOS once again. So I do recommend it, but I think most of us are going to plug in some sort of device to the HDMI port, like a Chromecast or like a Fire Stick, anything like that. For that, I think the Vankyo 530W, adding the wireless function is an added bonus for a lot of iOS users. But for all intents and purposes, I connected a Chromecast to this, I connected my Buzz TV to this, I connected all of my devices using an HDMI port. Next, I want to show you the quality, and I am just about six feet or seven feet away from the wall, and that's going to give you a little bit of reference about what the quality is like. But again, I've been impressed with this. I've been using it as my main TV for the past two weeks, and I'm going to continue to do so because I'm, I'm definitely really impressed with this, but enough talk about it. Let me show you the setup. Let me show you what you can do, and I'm going to show you the quality. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. <laughs> Vamos a buscar a tu hermanita. 
Let's see what the other one. What's going on YouTube? Today I just want to show you the best premium IPTV application that you can get. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I like mag boxes. You know that I really think that's the best way to get the most out of your IPTV subscription. Well, with TV Mate, you're going to get a lot of those excellent features. You're going to get a lot of that smooth experience that you would on a mag box. My husband and I are deeply touched by our welcome here this morning. ABC News, Rice, Florida, that's near Fort Lauderdale. A suspect wanted for violent crimes against children. This is the first fatal FBI shooting in the line of duty in 12 years. I'm arriving in an apartment complex when no one answered the apartment door, they went in. The suspect opening fire, the shooter was found dead by suicide. A massive show of law enforcement arriving on the scene, police, SWAT team, sheriff's departments, the wounded rushed for medical care. The two fallen agents had years of experience fighting crimes against children. A procession of law enforcement, motorcycles and SUVs escorting the ambulance with one of the fallen agents and a line of officers saluting as the flag draped gurney is carried into the medical examiner's office. FBI Director Christopher Wray issuing a statement saying FBI agents put leading us off from Florida tonight. Tonight in one of the deadliest shootings in FBI history, two agents killed and another three injured. The FBI now mourning the loss of Special Agents Daniel Elfin and Laura Schwarzenberger. They're not rushing to the scene, an armored vehicle crashing through those gates, a pool of blood in the corner of the screen. This man saying the shots woke him up. At least 20 rounds, continuous. Bam, 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 bam. And that woke you up this morning? First thing this morning, 5.30. Officials say the suspect died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. One of the deceased agents honored with a solemn procession Rely so heavily on the ninja. They don't know what to do when they're not here. Doesn't anyone here want to fight? <laughs> Fighters don't know where to go. Who's going to stop my father? Hello, as you can see. But our ally knows it's working, says they never will. He is ready to leave. Phase two prototypes are shipped out. Sir, is that really a priority right now? Until such time as the world ends, we will act as though it intends to spin off. Best asset base in the industry. And it's going to make us famous for network in the 5G era. Yeah, what does that mean you've run ahead by two years? And does this also mean that you're done? You don't need any more spectrum at this point? Because there will be more for sale even if perhaps as soon as later this year and Verizon on deployment. We have more 5G geographic coverage out there than AT&T and Verizon combined. But they're way behind. Now, to your question, yesterday we announced a business plan where we demonstrated massive... Let me know what you think about the Venkio 530W down in the comments below. I'm just super impressed with it, especially given its price. This is a very nice projector. Again, the speakers are one of the loudest that I've heard and the quality is just really crisp and really nice. It's about an 82 inch screen once again that I've been projecting on my wall. And this is something that I can highly recommend if you're looking for a very affordable 1080p native full size projector. Pricing does always change as well. Check that link down below as well. I'll catch you guys in another video.